about a week back, OpenAI announced GPT-4 O Mini, which is the smaller model from the GPT-4 O series. This is significantly small in terms of the size and capabilities. However, it is extremely fast and we'll take a look at that in terms of speed. We'll also look at what kind of responses it generates, but this is very cheap model. Let's just look at the pricing. So GPT-40 Mini scores 82% on MMLU, which is great, and actually outperforms GPT-4 on chat preferences in certain leaderboards. Now this is very, very debatable in terms of outperformance, but if it is even coming close to 4.0, that means the amount of compression happening, the amount of knowledge contained with lesser parameters, that's evolving. So we are moving from large to smaller models, which are still having similar capabilities, but are something like 60% cheaper than GPT 3.5 Turbo. Now this does support vision and text as well. And uh, the model has a context window of 128K, supports up to 16,000 output tokens per request and has knowledge up to October, 2023. So this is still not the most latest model. However, it can handle non-English data as well. So if you're using something like smaller translation scenarios, language translation scenarios, this could be a great model. They have published, you know, cross comparison like GPT-4 Romini, Gemini Flash, Claude Haiku, GPT 3.5 Turbo and 4.0. 4.0 as we can clearly see is probably leading in most spaces. But then across different benchmarks, I think this model is also good. In fact, it's very surprising to see that they have beaten 3.5 Turbo. Why did they do that? I'm not sure. The output context window could be a challenge in using this for you know more longer use cases, but where you have something like Superhuman, which has you know which is an email app and they use AI in and out, the speed at which they need to process data. This is very, very beneficial. It has built-in safety measures. Of course, I think they announced some time back a new framework for factoring and rule-based safety and stuff. Uh, the availability and pricing is just, it's available right now. We'll see that. And what's next? GPT-5, when are you coming? All right. So what I'm going to do is I've just, I'm going to switch to 4.0 and I will ask what is a lion. As you just saw that, it's going a little more slow. I mean, the generation speed can be noticed. Like you can see the kind of data it's generating, the rate at which the data is generating. However, there's significantly a lot of detail. This is just a very simple question. What is a lion? And it's trying to go and, you know, give you a whole Wikipedia page, appearance, habitat, structure, diet, behavior, everything. And uh, let's just go for how many, all right? This is what is the difference. So you see a surprisingly fast rendering output. So for all sorts of use cases where you're trying to work with data, moving fast interfaces, email conversation, notes, things like that, this could be really, really good. What you can also do, which is very, very surprising is you can actually fine tune. So now I'm in the platform, which is the playground ecosystem. You can select 3.5 or 4.0. But you can go to fine tuning, create a fine tuning job, select the base model as GPT-4 O Mini. You can upload your data. This has to be in JSON form. Unfortunately, I do not have it. You can do validation data. You can add certain suffixes to that experiment. You can set some random parameters. You can, you can just give it to fine tune. Now, this is very interesting because what this will allow or enable you to do is, you know, take a already proven large language model from GPT-40, you have moved to 4.0 mini, which has most of the information or is faster. Again, the information is debatable. However, you can fine tune it, which means that you can bring your own context much faster. So all your cases, which is client side applications, if you want to do supporting of fast APIs, all of those use cases become much more possible and faster. So yeah, this is a good leap forward. And I think a lot of people are just going to follow suit because what OpenAI does, everybody just jumps in. So that's a little bit about GPT-40 Mini. Hope you have liked this conversation. Give me a thumbs up if you have liked it. Want to see more video on LLMs, generative AI, subscribe. Karo yaar.